welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. And uh, welcome back to uh, Sweet Bailey YouTube. We are here with the V8 97 Ford Explorer. It has the 302 and it has the uh, GT40 upper and lower intake manifolds and it also has the GT40 P heads uh, which have more compression and um, some stuff. So anyways, today what we're going to be doing is upgrading this truck. I have actually already done a few upgrades to the truck. Um, just a moment here while I get my my hood propped up here. The, um, the regular hood prop is no longer functioning, which is these nice little hydraulic rams that no longer hold the hood up, so I have to use a uh, broken pool stick. Perfect. Anyways, so what we're going to be doing is upgrading this 5.0 Ford V8. So, one of the first things I always upgrade on my vehicles when I buy them is the air filter. So there's many ways you can do this. You can take this air box lid off and replace the square filter inside with a higher flowing filter and maybe get like one horsepower and a little bit of uh, benefits, but nothing super awesome. Um, but usually what I do is I'll remove the entire thing and replace it with a CAI system, which stands for cold air intake. And a lot of people do this and some people claim it, it does a, a lot of difference and some people claim it does zero difference. And I guess you could say that I'm one of the people that notices the difference that it makes and appreciates that small gain in horsepower and or fuel mileage it also helps fuel mileage and you know some torque and throttle response acceleration etc etc so to take this off all i have to do is take this hose clamp off which i have already loosened prepping for the video I have to remove the mass airflow sensor completely from all of this stuff because it will go on to the new system without the rest of all of that stuff. And it's as simple as unplugging um, that, like I so. Unplugging this like a so sticking them out of the way there like that and then literally if i just pull this off right there wiggle it a little bit i can actually get this entire thing off just one second there it is so, it's a little hard to do it one-handed, but I have actually broke all of the mounts down in there already previously, installing and uninstalling this like several times already because I had to make some custom modifications. But, take that hose clamp off, unplug your sensors, and then after you battle with your... Uh, your brackets here with some little rubber dealies. Hold on one more second. All right, there we go. There's a little uh, air tube down here that hooks into that little plastic deal and it was hung up on the thing. So after you undo all that, you can remove that entire unit right there, which is pretty big, but there's not a lot of airflow. So, what I'm going to do is replace all of this with some stuff in here. And I think I'm actually going to have to come in here and sit in the truck because it's very windy outside and you might have some trouble 
hearing me and such so to make the video a little better quality i'm gonna get in here and give you some information about all of this stuff in here so we've got our hacksaw down there that we used previously to cut a piece of tubing and the screwdriver i used to loosen the hose clamp so as you see on this box here it says 94 to 95 Mustang 5.0 cold air intake, AKA Explorer. I wrote that on this box. This kit is designed for a 94 to 95 GT Mustang with a 5.0 and or the Mustang Cobra with a 5.0. So there's a few things about this kit that do not work on my Explorer, such as this beautiful shiny chrome piece does not fit, so I cannot use that. And there's these pieces here. Let me see if I can get that out of there without ruining anything. So the kit comes with um, this stuff. So you got some hose clamps, a rubber deal, your um deal there for the oil vent tube off of the valve cover that's very shiny by the way and there's a hole here for the stock mustang air temperature intake sensor which this right here is not that this is the stock explorer air intake temperature sensor i had to buy a brass fitting that screws into that piece so that I could screw the sensor after I threaded it with a die literally threaded the plastic sensor to screw into that brass piece so then this would work in this tube here anyways also comes with this big air filter and um, this flange piece except for this flange piece here had used to be connected to this hose here where that tape is I had recently just cut that off this morning with the um, hacksaw down there and I have customized this kit to fit for my Explorer so there's this rubber piece over here this is um three and a half inches uh, diameter on this end and on the other end it is actually 3.25 inch diameter and I have bought that custom for this build and it's not really custom but they make them all the time but it's a little bit hard to track down on the internet anyways I'm replacing that this with with that because the way this was set up before, it would not bolt onto the Explorer because it was not designed for this truck. So I had to modify some stuff. Anyways, I'm going to install some of this stuff and tell you a little bit about what I had to do to make it work and all of that stuff. Um, so keep in mind, this has been two months I have been working on this intake, ordering parts, figuring out how to customize it to make it work for my truck, etc, etc. Like say this piece right here, for example, if I pop this out, you see it's got a fresh cut on there with a hacksaw, which is not perfect, but that piece goes into the filter right there. So it is not really a big deal as long as there's not a bunch of loose aluminum going into my engine. Anyways, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to install all of this stuff. And then we'll talk a little bit more about it. So stay tuned. And if you like the video and the information, feel free to hit the like button. Feel free to smash the subscribe button. And if you like to uh, call me out on any of my mistakes or misinformation, then uh, leave a comment and I will gladly respond to your comment accordingly. And uh, thank you, regardless of if it's an insult or something very friendly. So um, we'll see you in a little bit. Hold on your horses and we'll be right back.
All right, so let's start it up and see what it sounds like stock. And also keep in mind this is not the first upgrade I have installed. I have not started this series until today. And that is after I've already installed two other, three other upgrades. This is the Thornton Stage 2 uh, high performance chip that plugs into your OBD2 port, which claims up to 40 horsepower, um, faster acceleration, throttle response, and up to 4 miles per gallon. Um, anyways, and here's all my intake stuff. We have installed 31 by 10 50 15 inch mud tires with 15 inch wheels as well as um, we have cut the stuck, uh, stock muffler off and installed a Flowmaster, what's called the Flow Monster, which is a new style of Flowmaster muffler, which is identical to the 40 series two chamber, but it is aluminized steel. So it's like half the price of a standard steel Flowmaster muffler. So yeah. So let's start her up. And if you take out this one bolt right here on top of the throttle body, then you can do this. here and there is a few things to uh, fix or modify um, so this is the original piece that works fine the breather tube it goes down there uh, for right now it can plug under there no problem my sensor I've already rewired it and it'll come over here no problem but if you look at this tube here is a little bit too big so i'm gonna take some electric tape wrap it around that tube a few times so it'll close that gap so then it'll tighten tight on there same with this side it's just a hair too big of a tube so i'm just going to wrap some electrical tape around the mass airflow sensor right there to close that gap so it's tight and there's no air leaks this piece bolted on there, no problem. The plug-in will plug in there, no problem. I have made this custom bracket. Um, let me see if I can pull all this stuff out without messing up stuff. Um, I've previously made this custom bracket to hold the, the cold air intake, but... Um, I think it'll work. I might have to bend it just a little bit slightly. I painted it and everything, made it real nice. And uh, I think that'll still work for this setup. So I'm gonna hook everything up, put the electric tape on there, mount up the bracket, and then I'll be back in a second. All right, we are back and we are all done. We have modified everything that needed modified. 
all the hose clamps are tight. I got my breather tube hooked up there to the the oil filled tube down there. Good. I got my air intake temperature sensor plugged in there. Mass airflow sensor plugged in there. 90 installed. Hose clamps are tight. Mass airflow sensor installed. Bracket. I had to bend this end of it a little bit more so it would fit properly on the new setup. And everything is tight and ready for a start test. I just have one last bolt to put in it. And that holds this plastic cover over the throttle there. So I'm going to start it up and then we're going to rev it up a little bit maybe. So yeah, I'll probably let it warm up a little bit. I'll pause it and then uh, I'll be right back with you in a minute. All right, now it's warmed up a bit. And anyways, this is a SR Performance Cold Air Intake Kit for a 94, 95, 5.0 Mustang. And I had to modify it to work in a 97 Ford Explorer with the same motor the 302 V8 so this part did not come with a kit this flange right here was not like that before I had to cut off a 90 degree elbow of aluminum just so it's long enough that I could mount the filter to it so the mass airflow sensor is flowing in the correct direction I had to get a fitting from the hardware store or auto parts store that will screw into that that I could screw the sensor into after I threaded the plastic sensor to screw into that fitting and made a custom bracket down here that fits into the stock holes that mount the airbox. So after all of that, it runs, drives, functions properly, no check engine light. little pop there so I'm gonna put this back on and uh, go for a little test drive so if you like the video be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you would like and uh, I'll try to post some more uh, more videos for you a little more more often so, yeah. And after I tighten this bolt, oh, I got the wrong socket, I think. Yep, I got the, oh, no, it's in my, nope. Yep, I got the wrong socket. So I need to go grab a different socket for that, and then I'm done. So, if you liked it, subscribe, like it, comment, feel free. Take care. Later. Peace.